Hello friends, my name is Miss Cheryl and welcome to another virtual story time presented by Health for Youth. How is everyone doing? I'm happy to hear everyone is doing well. Well, how about we start off by singing a hello song. All you have to do is wave. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so happy to see so many beautiful faces. So today we are going to read, we're going to sing a little, and we are going to discuss our story a little. Are we ready? If we are ready, how about we sing what do you want to sing? You tell me, Cheryl, what you want to sing. Old MacDonald has a farm? Well, what do you know? Because our book today is about animals. What do we see here? Yes, a dog. What else do we see? Look closely. That's right, a bird on the dog's head. So how about we sing maybe three farm animals on Old MacDonald's farm. Are you ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a dog, E-I-E-I-O, with a woof woof here and a woof woof there, here a woof, there a woof, everywhere a woof woof, oh MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a bird, E-I-E-I-O, with a trick trick here and a trick Break there, here a tweet, there a tweet, everywhere a tweet, tweet. Oh, MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo here and a moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo, moo. Oh, MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Great job, everyone. So today our story is called, Are You My Mother? by P.D. Eastman. Let's see what happens and who is the mother. A mother bird sat on her egg. The egg jumped. Oh, oh, said the mother bird. My baby will be here. He will want to eat. I must get something for my baby bird to eat, she said. I will be right back. So away she went. The egg jumped. It jumped. Come on, jump like Miss Cheryl and jumped and jumped that's right and out came the baby bird where is my mother he said he looked for her he looked up he did not see her he looked down he still did not see her I will go and look for her, he said. So away he went. Down, out of the tree he went. Down, down, down. It was a long way down. The baby bird could not fly. He could not fly, but he could walk. Now I will go and find my mother, he said. He did not know what his mother looked like. He went right by her. He did not see her. Now 
he came to a kitten. Are you my mother? He said to the kitten. The kitten just looked and looked. It did not say a thing. The kitten was not his mother, so he went on. Then he came to a hen. Are you my mother? He said to the hen. The hen was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. I have to find my mother, he said. But where? Where is she? Where could she be? Then he came to a dog. Are you my mother? He said to the dog. I am not your mother. I am a dog, said the dog. Now the kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. The dog was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. Now he came to a cow. Do you think this is going to be his mother? What do you think? Yes? <laughs> no? What color is the cow? That's right. Brown. What other colors do we see? Black and white. Great job, friends. So the baby bird went on. Now he came to a, another cow. And the, he asked the cow once more, Are you my mother? You see the horns on the cow? And the cow said, How could I be your mother? I am a cow. The kitten and the hen were not his mother. The dog and the cow were not his mother. Did he have a mother, you think? That's right, he has a mother, but where is she? I did have a mother, said the baby bird. I know I did. I have to find her. I will, I will. Now the baby bird did not walk. He ran. He ran really, really fast. Then he saw a car. Could that old thing be his mother? No, it could not be. The baby bird did not stop. He ran on and on and on. Now he looked way, way down. He saw a boat. There she is, said the baby bird. He called to the boat, but the boat did not stop. The boat went on. He looked way, way up. He saw a plane. Here is my mother. Here I am, mother, he called out. But the plane did not stop. The plane went on. Just then, the baby bird saw a big thing. This must be my mother. There she is, he said. There is my mother. He ran right up to it. Mother, mother. Here I am, he said to the big thing. 
but the big thing just snarled. Oh, you are not my mother, said the baby boo. You are a snort. I have to get out of here. Snort! But the baby bird could not get away. The snort went up, up, up. Up, up, up. And up, 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 up went the baby bird. But now, where was the snort going? Oh, oh, oh. What is this snort going to do to me? Get me out of here! Just then, the snort came to a stop. Where am I? said the baby bird. I want to go home. I want my mother. Then something happened. The snort put that baby bird right back in the tree. The baby bird was home. Just then, the mother bird came back to the tree. Do you know who I am? She said to her baby. Yes, I know who you are, said the baby bird. You are not a kitten. You are not a hen. You are not a dog. You are not a cow. You are not a boat or a plane or a snort. You are a bird. And that means you are my mother. The end. Did you like that story? I did too. Why did you like that story? Because the baby found his mother. That's right, and Miss Cheryl like happily ever ending after stories. So, what is this? Do you know? Did we talk about a plane in the story? And where did we see the plane? Was it low, low down? That's right, a plane flies way, way, way up in the sky. Great job. And what did we say flew was low down? That's right, the boat. And what couldn't find its mother? That's right, the baby bird. But how did he know his mother in the end? Correct. The bird looked just like him. So he knew the bird was his mother. Great job, smart boys and girls. So our story time has now come to an end. How about we sing goodbye until the next time? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you next time on another virtual story time presented by our friends from Health for Youth. Goodbye.